Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Daniel here at Raws and Regs, and I'd like to tie-dye a crinkle or scrunch pattern for you today. And I have a double XL shirt. So, um, basically a crinkle or a scrunch pattern is just uh, bunching it up. So I'm going to take my, my fingers and I'm just going to try and make random little uh, folds all about equal distance, maybe, or equal height maybe about a half inch or so. The the thicker the material sweatshirts, you'll it'll probably be like a, a two or three inch fold. Uh, you know, bandanas, tapestries, it can be a lot thinner than that. You can incorporate this fold uh, with maybe a spiral in the center and the rest of it crinkle. Uh, you can it can be the background fold for hearts or stars, man mandalas or uh, designs like that. It can be just a standalone fold. Uh, you can do such as a camo pattern with this, with one side, one color, and the other side uh, another color, such as green on one side, brown on the other, uh, black and white, red and black, yellow. So here is my my folded up design, and now one of the secrets. Um, with crinkles and especially large items like this is just to rubber band it correctly excuse me rubber band it correctly so it doesn't uh, doesn't kind of taco out on you and, and then you just kind of ruin your fold and if that happens uh, there's no good answer about it but just go ahead and refold it I have had to refold many shirts so I'm just kind of starting off from one rubber band and I'm just going out a third of the way around the the design and adding another rubber band oh and there it's starting to uh, to get out on me so I'm just gonna try and compress everything back in I'm gonna add some rubber bands it kinda folded this way so I'm gonna add rubber bands here to try and keep them it, it works it, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to keep on adding rubber bands until I can basically throw this like a frisbee. Alright, so I feel pretty comfortable with this. It's, it's a little uh, delicate, but for the most part, uh, it's, it's not going anywhere. It could if I if I threw it against the wall. So I'm not gonna treat it like a frisbee, but uh, here is the crinkle fold, and let's go dye. Welcome down to my dyeing room. Essentially, it's just a tray with a refrigerator shelf on it. Uh, we have our crinkle fold here, and uh, so right here it looks like. Well, this is the tag. It looks like these two are the sleeves, and this is the bottom. So. What I'm going to do is kind of a half and half, I have some colors in front of me, I have a rainbow plethora, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do red, orange, yellow on this side, mm, yeah, red, orange, yellow on this side, and then I'll, I'll change it up on the other side, so uh, here's the, uh, the approximate middle of the shirt on the left and the right, and so I'm going to put orange over on this side, and I'm going to be uh, just kind of sling around the die right now. This this particular fold, uh, there's a lot of different ways to dye it and uh, essentially it's not really thick but it, it takes a fair bit of dye so just to get through this I'm just gonna add a fair bit of dye to it. That's probably about enough. Uh, I can always go back and add some more if I want to now. I'm gonna add a little bit of red or a little bit of orange right down the, the very center of the shirt and the dye is going in pretty good right now uh, so yeah normally it doesn't take too much dye for the orange the orange seems to uh, be a little bit of a, a lighter dye smaller dye particle so it it seems to go into the fabric and through the fabric a lot easier same with uh, yellow and also turquoise there's a few other colors like that. Just experiment around with different colors, find the ones that you like. Uh, I've settled my 
my dies to about uh, 20 that I like to use. So let's let's turn it over really quickly and let's see what we got for, for saturation. The red's looking pretty good. I could probably use a little bit more orange and maybe just a, a tad more yellow. So, uh, whatever. I may add a little bit more red as well. Just just because we're, we're on this side, we might as well not miss an opportunity to add more dye somewhere. It's always a good good idea to use a lot of dye. And then here's some more orange. And you can kind of see the more that I handle uh, this this item, the more it starts to bunch up and you can just kind of try and lay it down. So that's good on that side. Uh, now, I don't want to make a whole lot of brown, so I think I'm going to do purple on this side and blue on this side. So, once again, uh oh, there's my turquoise. Uh, here's the, the center of the shirt, here's the label. I believe that's the sleeve and that's the sleeve. If not, uh, I'm sure it'll still turn out really fun. So, here I'm just uh, slopping down the die. I'm trying to be just very even as I put it on. I don't know if it really looks like it, but I try and evenly place the die randomly. So it's my random evenness coming out here. So there's the the, the purple. Now I have some, some turquoise. I'm going to put some turquoise on this side, and hopefully it'll mix with the yellow and make some nice greens. Uh, it probably won't mix with the orange too well, but we're throwing on some other colors after this as well. So that seems to look pretty good to me. I'm gonna try and get the uh, the very edges of the the item as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more purple. There you go. Put some out there. And now I'm going to kind of just uh, put, put some, oh yeah, look at all that green there now. So this is looking really good. Uh, I'm just going to put a light layer of dark green on top of everything. And hopefully that bright green, or the dark green will just kind of stay on top. And not really penetrate down to the, the other colors too much. And it'll give it a nice crinkled, crackled kind of an effect. And so I'm going to put this in a bag. I'm going to leave it sit for upwards of 24 hours and I'll wash it out and uh, just like any tie-dye is going to turn out awesome. But hopefully it'll turn out more awesome than normal. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.